Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you about new features of Filmora 9.4.5. If you're a Filmora 9 user, you may heard about this update on our Facebook group and some other YouTube channels. If you want to download this new version, go ahead to the link I put in the description. Let's getting started now. To know which version of Filmora 9 you are using, Go ahead to the help menu at the toolbar menu, select about option. Here is the information about your new version. The first update is about this split button on the playhead. You're now able to hide this button if you don't want to use it. To hide, or show this button, click on the file menu, select preferences. At the editing tab, uncheck the box to hide the button when you're editing your video. Now the button disappeared on your playhead. To show it, do the same steps and check the box. Second update is about the speed control shortcut. In Filmora 9, when you want to change video speed, or image duration, you need to highlight the clip, then select this speed control button. Click custom speed to open a new window which allows you to control your video speed. Or, you can right click on the clip, and select speed and duration to open this window. Now you don't need to do these steps, just select the clip and press Ctrl plus R on your keyboard to open speed control window. In my opinion, this is a great update to speed up our video editing process. Third update is about color mark. You are now able to mark anything on the timeline with one of eight built in color. You can mark your clip, image, audio track title or whatever you want on the timeline. To mark an object on the timeline, you can right click on it, then select the color you want to mark. Alternatively, you can also use keyboard shortcut Alt plus 1 to 8 for marking color 2. This feature is useful when want to mark a part of the project which need to be modified later when you finish your editing work. Fourth update is about closing all empty gaps on the timeline to avoid black screen after your project is exported. Once you finished your editing work, if you want to close all gaps on the timeline, just highlight everything on your timeline, or press Ctrl A on your keyboard. Then, right click on the timeline and select Close Gap. Filmora 9 will automatically close all empty gaps on the timeline. But, this is not the right way to use it. Normally, you will have one main video track on the timeline, to avoid leaving empty gaps on your video track, you can use this feature. Firstly, highlight the track you want to check then right click on it and select close gap. By doing this, other parts on the timeline will not be affected. Fifth update is about the ability to detach multiple audio tracks in one click. In the last version, you cannot detach the audio of all selected clips at the same time. Now it's possible to do that. For example, these clips have audio. I can highlight all of them, right click on the part and select detach audio to separate them at once. Here are the audio we've just detached. Another useful update in Filmora 9 are 4 new zoom and pan presets in Filmora 9. In the zoom and pan tab, you can see 4 new presets appear next to the swap zoom button. These presets allows you to add zoom in, zoom out effect as well as panning without so much work as usual. Finally, for those of you who want to use Filmora 9 to upload video to YouTube directly, there's an option to put your video in unlisted or private option at the privacy control. This option allows you to carefully check your video once again before you publish it. I personally don't use this option since I always to want to check my video carefully before uploading to YouTube. And most importantly, I really don't feel comfortable giving my account access to a third party for any reason. That's all about the new updates of Filmora 9. I hope you enjoy the video, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.